All right, part two, design patterns you must know. Let's begin with the factory method. Very popular, very useful in Android as well. You'll see it everywhere. Let's say you have an interface animal. This animal has one function, make sound. Then you have a dog, which is an animal. Dog also makes sound. What it does is print woof. There is your dog. Then you have a cat, also an animal, also wants its sound, makes sound. Instead, it does meow. There you have cat and dog. Now for the important part, animal factory. This object has one function, create animal. What does it take? It takes a animal type and returns an animal. What happens inside? It checks for the animal type. Do not use strings to define the types. Use an enum. We will define it next. So it checks if it is an animal type dog. For example, it returns a concrete class dog. And if it is a cat, it returns a cat. This when must be exhaustive. So you have to handle the case when it's neither dog or cat, unknown animal type. Save format. Let's define the animal type enum dog cat. Now, whenever we want an instance of this animal, let's say we want a dog. It is an animal. We go to our factory and we ask our factory to create an animal of type dog. There you go. You want a cat. Here you go. Animal factory. Create animal. Animal type. Cat. How do we test them? My dog makes sound. My cat make sound. Save, format, and run. Woof, meow. That is the factory pattern. The selling point of this pattern is that you don't care about the implementation details that got you this object. You just want a dog or you just want a cat. You don't care how it's created or what's going on inside the class. There are many real life scenarios where you would use this. This is one of them. You recognize this item view holder factory, right? We used to do this in the recycler view. Let me just shrink the font here so you can see. You used to give it view type and depending on the view type, you get a view holder back. When you wanted to display different types of items inside a list view on Android. So you would give the recycler view two types. You check for the type, da da da. It gives you different one. It's even the same uh, implementation. A view type does the when on this view type. And then depending on the thing, it gives you the thing. And if you don't pass it something from the types that it knows, it's going to throw a legal argument exception. This is a real life example that you see every day of the factory method. Next, we're going to do the builder pattern. Builder pattern, of course, you've seen it. Very convenient, very nice method or pattern. Just build one call after the other. You chain them up. You have, for example, a person class, private constructor. They have a name, an age, and an address. Now here's the kicker. Inside you have a class called builder. It's going to replicate these fields that you specified, but they're going to be vars and they're going to have initial values. Why does it do this? You'll see in a second. Address, the string, then you have fun, set name. You take a name that you like. You return the builder itself. What do you do here? You do this name, it's the name you got. Then you return this. You remember the Java days, this dot name, that's, that's the name here you got. And this is the name that you specified as a user of this class. You'll see how we use it in a second. Set age, whatever age you like, return the builder again. This age is equal to age, 
return the builder same thing for address now for the grand finale of this pattern you have a build method it returns a concrete class given the properties that you specified only whatever you gave for address and age and name that's what's going to go into the final concrete class let's see it in action val person is equal to person dot builder set name name set age is 30 and then set address address one then you call dot build in this case we set three of the member variables to have values let's go and say i don't want to give it an age and then let's go and say this is the data class so that when i print person i would like to see all the fields that have been set on it I don't want to go and specify my own two string. It comes for free when you just say data class. There you go. Address is one. Name is name. Age is undefined. You can even go and say set name. You can also be like person.name, um, person.address. You can have some predefined address is the address here. Run again. First print statement is just going to print the whole object. It has a name, has an address, doesn't have an age. Second one prints its name. Third one prints the address. That is the builder pattern. This is different than Kotlin's named arguments. This one allows much more flexibility when you define what you want to set. With named arguments, you have to, to specify all the arguments. Even if they're named and clear, it's just different. Don't get it confused. Finally, the adapter pattern. Finally for today, not finally for this whole series. The series still needs one video. It's going to have command pattern and the observer pattern. But for now, here is the final one. This is the adapter. I'm not going to explain anything or write any examples or do anything here. Of course, you know this like you know the back of your hand. This is what we used to do in Android about a year ago with recycler views and and all that jazz. In this case, for example, you have uh, two types of view holders that you would like to return, article view holder and image view holder. This is when you want to show two different types of things in the recycler view back then. So you would do this by differentiating them with a view type. This is exactly the uh, factory method with uh, on create view holder. This is the one we just saw. It's inside the adapter. So is it two adapters? There's two uh, patterns inside each other. Amazing. Just for you to see the level of engineering uh, happening at Google. Uh, very, very high tech. So this is it. Of course, you know it. I'm not going to dwell on it. It just acts like an adapter between the data that you have and the views that you have. You get it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. There's still one video to go, two more patterns, see you in the next one.